We're going to have Loch North shortly, where primary schools are remaining closed until next week. And we asked the local MP, given the history of water contamination in Havelock North, has enough been done to prevent such an outbreak? But we begin tonight in the far north, where a community leader says the death of a young man in Kaitaia overnight is evidence of a crisis. Police have this afternoon confirmed to Checkpoint that a member of the public in Kaitaia called 111 around 3am this morning with concerns about a man on a bridge. It took police 43 minutes to arrive, by which time the man was dead. Police have told Checkpoint there were no other police units that could have responded any quicker to this incident. Checkpoint has been told of a spate of suicides in the far north community and of the difficulty of accessing police after hours. A short time ago, I spoke with the chief executive of He Korowai Trust, Ricky Houghton, who said he wasn't surprised at all by the fact it took police so long to arrive. And if you urgently need help in Kaipaia, you call the fire brigade. What it does say is that uh, all the services are on overload. People need help up here. We've got the uh, capability, but we haven't got the capacity. Um, all the mental health services uh, are on overload. Um, the key, key mental health services have been centralised uh, from out of the uh, district down to Whangarei, uh, further afar if they need help. And the, the, the regretful thing is, is that families uh, can't get the help they need, the right help at the right time. And what you're seeing is a direct result of uh, you know, services being downsized and a community in crisis. OK, Ricky, I guess there are two points to address there. One is the police after hours in Kaitaia. If you need the police in Kaitaia or near Kaitaia overnight, can you get them? Yes, yeah, so uh, you ring 111 and that goes to the um, 111 call centre in Auckland. But if you contact, if you go to the police station at night time, it's closed. You have to speak through a metal box uh, uh, which puts you through to the Whangarei Watch House and the Whangarei Watch House dispatches cars as they are available. But generally, uh, the, the, if you want help uh, in the community, it's better to call and ask for the fire brigade and they will uh, uh, more often than not get there before the police. And in driving time, how far is Whangarei from Kaitaia? It's uh, in a police car with the blue lights flashing. Um, it'd probably be at least an hour to an hour and uh, an hour and a half. And, and that's an hour and a half to Kai Tai, bearing in mind that if you went up to the Cape, it's another two hours. So, so what do you do if there's an emergency like the incident that we have heard about in the middle of the night in Kai Tai or further north? Uh, you dial 111, speak to, the, uh, speak to the operator and ask for help, exactly what happened. Uh, and the police uh, will be there as soon as they can. And that's all they say. Um, uh, so, so if you've got somebody that's threatening uh, to go to a bridge there and you're a passerby, you just stand there and try and keep calling the police and saying, well, you know, he's on the edge now. He's on the lip now and he's just uh, he's leaning over the side and it's getting worse. The other issue that you raised in your first answer is mental health services. We, we have heard reports of a spate of suicides in that community in the past few weeks. Is that the case? That's the case. In a two, week, uh, two weeks ago, we had uh, five people, five young people uh, take their lives uh, 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 in a space of uh, just over a week. F five young people take their lives in the space of just over a week? Yes. And did you know any of those people? Yes, I knew three of them. One of them was my nephew. So this is a community in crisis, Ricky? It is a community in crisis and we need help. I mean, if this happened uh, anywhere else but the far north, uh, if it happened anywhere else, uh, I'm sure uh, 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 the the, all the relevant services would have rushed to their side. But you can't help but feel ignored, abandoned and left alone. We, you know, we're, we're a community that feels doomed. That's Ricky Halton, Chief Executive of He Korowai Trust. I spoke to him a short time ago.